Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this 10th video of depreciation chapter, we are going to start our next method of depreciation that is machine hour method. In the previous videos, right, in the previous 9 videos, we have covered SLM, WDV and then in just previous video, we saw some of your digits method with problems, right? Now here also, what are we going to do? We are going to not just understand the concept of this method but also we are going to solve problem okay we'll cover one ici illustration and one just practical example okay so let's begin now see here how simple this machine hour method is the first thing that you have to understand is that in this method the useful life of the machinery is expressed in form of hours in the previous methods we saw that you know it used to be in form of years the useful life machinery would last for five years machinery would last for 10 years the building would last for 50 years isn't it here it's not like that here mainly this method is only for machines and here it will be given let's just say in the question machine a and b are there machine a would last for 20,000 hours machine b would last for 30,000 hours okay it would be like that the life of the machinery would be expressed in form of hours for how long you can operate them is that clear right so here the most important thing is hours only as the name says itself and the accounting treatment and everything is same only as we have seen now in slm and wdv and some of years digits method the accounting treatment was same there was no difference at all the same would apply over here there is no difference it's just that the way of calculating the depreciation is different isn't it just the formulas and the way of calculation is different the accounting treatment how do you you know pass the general entries prepare the ledger accounts you know what treatment you do in balance sheet and profit and loss the same thing you have to do okay no difference at all it's just that the calculation is different now let's understand what is that calculation see here this method is based upon hours right so the calculation is also based upon hours see here under this method depreciation is calculated on the basis of hours that the machine has worked for how many number of hours the machine has worked in a year on that basis you know we calculate the depreciation right so the first thing that we do is when we purchase the machine we estimate we estimate the total hours of the machine what is the useful life of the machinery in form of hours right and then what we do is at the year end we calculate the depreciation now if we are following this method then at the end of year what are we going to do is this first step will be we will calculate the machine hour rate of depreciation what is the depreciation per hour what is the depreciation per machine hour to be exact okay how will we calculate that it's really simple we will take the depreciable amount what is depreciable amount you all know depreciable amount means cost minus residual value let's just say if cost is 10 lakh and residual value is 1 lakh so 10 lakh minus 1 lakh 9 lakh would be the depreciable amount so depreciable amount divide by useful life in hours let's just say useful life in hours is you know 9000 hours so 9 lakh okay see 9 lakh is the depreciable amount divide by the useful life in hours let's just say 9000 okay so 100 would be what this will be the machine hour rate of depreciation what is the depreciation of the machine per you know hour per hour it's used for is that clear that would be 100 so now you have to see in this current year yeah we are at the year end let's just say at 31st december or 31st march so in this current year for how many hours we have used the machine let's just say we have used for you know uh let's just say 1000 so into 1000 okay so this 1000 what is this 1000 this is the actual hours the hours you have operated the machine in the current year so if you multiply them what will happen one lakh one lakh is the depreciation right so you have to reduce the cost of the uh, what do you say the machinery by one lakh and take one lakh to the profit and loss as depreciation if you're following a simple accounting treatment okay so in the calculator just now what did i do i applied this formula first i took 9 lakh depreciable amount divided by useful life in hours yeah 9000 i got 100 that 100 was the machine hour rate of depreciation step one and then the step two what did i do multiply the rate with the actual hours worked in a year 
answer this answer was what this was the machine hour rate 100 into actual hours the machine has been operated for in the current year i multiplied that i got one lakh that one lakh is the depreciation right so this formula you will apply now this formula can also be arranged in a different manner if you will see in the ics study material then you will find that they have taken depreciable amount into actual hours divided by useful life that's also fine it's the same thing only but i explain you the logic over here how it's happening first we are calculating machine hour rate of depreciation how much is the depreciation for one hour the machine is used for okay and then multiply with the actual hours is that clear that's the logic that's how we do it okay basically what are we doing here we are not conforming to the uh, years right we are not saying that okay uh, we are ignoring that the machine would last for five years ten years no no it's not like that we want to go in very much detail yeah we want to see for how many hours it can be used for and on that basis we will charge the depreciation is that clear so that is the concept of this method that is how you calculate the depreciation now let's just see this example okay. see the example over here cost is let's say 10 lakh 10,000 of the machinery and then we have residual value of 10,000 the scrap value and then useful life is 20,000 hours and then we have been given actual hours yeah actually for how many hours it has been used in the current year in 2020 and 2021 in 2020 it is 200 hours and in 2021 it's 300 hours okay calculate depreciation for 2020 and 2021 so the first thing that we need is what depreciable amount how do you calculate depreciable amount cost minus residual value 10 lakh 10 minus 10,000 you all know that's equal to how much that's equal to uh, 10 lakh right and then let's calculate machine hour rate how do you calculate machine hour rate just half of the formula right depreciable amount divided by useful life in hours depreciable amount is 10 lakh divide that by the useful life in hours useful life is 20,000 hours so if we just divide that see here 10 lakh divide by uh, 20,000 useful life in hours that's equal to 50 what is this 50 this is a depreciation per hour okay this is the you know machine hour rate of depreciation fine it's 50 is that clear depreciation per machine hour now this you have to multiply this you have to multiply with what with the actual hours yeah if you want to calculate the depreciation of 2020 then you have to see for how many hours the machine has been worked in 2020 it has been worked for 200 hours so into 200 so that's equal to 10,000 so 10,000 is the depreciation of 2020 clear simple and straightforward if you want to calculate what is the depreciation of 2021 just multiply that 50 yeah this 50 with what with 300 you all know now you understood this it's really simple 15,000 15,000 is the depreciation of 2021 easy right now this was the expanded way which i showed you just now but in exam what you have to do you just have to apply directly the formula only it's really simple now depreciable amount divided by useful life in hours into actual hours okay so see this is how you have to do depreciation of 2020 10 lakh 10 lakh is the depreciable amount divide that by the let's do that again 10 lakh divide by 20,000 20,000 is the useful life so if you do that you get 50 right the same thing 50 into 200 okay the same thing is happening into 200 so that's equal to 10,000 okay the same thing you have to repeat with 2021 also 10 lakh divided by useful life total you know hours into actual hours that's equal to 15,000 this is 2021 depreciation fine so this is how you calculate the depreciation under machine hour method right so now let's just move on to the ICI illustration uh, we have one illustration on this let's just see that now see here we have the problem on machine hour method this is our 11th problem in this series now this question is from the ICS study material illustration 4 let's just go through this and let's see what's happening over here a machine was purchased for 30 lakhs having an estimated total working of 24,000 hours okay this is the useful life of the machinery and 30,000 is the cost the scrap value is expected to be 2 lakhs okay this is the residual value scrap value and anticipated pattern of distribution of effective hours is as follows okay so here they have given us for how many hours will be using up the machine okay 
So in the first, second and third year, we will be using up the machinery for 3000 hours each. In the first year 3000, in the second year 3000, in the third year also 3000. So in combination 9000 in the first three years. Clear? Do you understand the interpretation of this, how it is given? Right. And then in the fourth, fifth and sixth year, we will be using up the machinery uh, for how much? 2600 hours per year in the fourth year 2600 fifth year 2600 and sixth year also 2600 is that clear so in total how much 2600 into 3 so that's 7800 in uh, 100 in total fine and then seventh eighth ninth and ten yeah seven to ten for these four years we'll be using up the machinery for 1800 hours per year okay so how much is that so this is 7800 now and then here 1800 into 4 4 years now 7th 8th 9th 10th so that's 7200 so 7200 plus 7800 yeah 4 to 6 and then in the first that's 9000 so you can see it's 24000 hours so in these 10 years they will be using up the machinery completely isn't it what is the useful life of the machinery 24000 hours right and how they are using it completely in the 10 years 24,000 clear okay so that's just I wanted to show you now let's just see what is the requirement determine annual depreciation under machine hour rate method okay let's calculate what will be the depreciation in the year 1 2 and 3 okay it's really simple you already know this see here first we'll calculate the depreciable amount how will we calculate that 30 lakhs minus 2 lakh that's equal to 28 lakhs that's a depreciable amount 30 minus 2 that's 28 this is the depreciable amount now 28 lakhs we have to divide yeah remember the formula in the formula what we used to do in the formula we used to divide by useful life in hours right and then into actual hours so this is what we are going to do 28 lakhs depreciable amount divide this by the useful life and that is 24,000 hours right so divide that by 24,000 you will get the you know machine hour rate actually and then you have to multiply with the actual actual hours so in the first year it's 3000 so into 3000 okay so that's 350000 depreciation in the first year now in the second and third year also they are using up the machinery for 3000 hours only second year also 3000 third year also 3000 so in second and third also the same depreciation will be there 350 350 is that clear? 3 lakh 50, 3 lakh 50, 3 lakh 50 in the first three years. And then there is a change in you know 4 to 6. In the next three years, they will be using up the machinery for 2600 every year. So now the calculation will differ, isn't it? Now let's just see how the study mat has done. See, in the study mat also they have done the same thing. 1, 2, 3. They have done in combination. The same thing what we did now, the same thing they have done. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this 30 minus 2 lakh is the depreciable amount. They have just, you know, arranged it differently. So 30 lakh minus 2 lakh, that's 28 lakhs. 28 lakhs into what? 3,000 actual hours divided by the total hours. The useful life, 24,000. And they have got the same answer, 3 lakh 50. So this 3 lakh 50 is not for the entire 3 years. It's just for the one year. This is annual depreciation. See the heading over there. For the first year, 3 lakh 50 and then second year separately 3 lakh 50 and then the third year separately 3 lakh 50 clear okay so the same thing you have to do for uh, 4 to 6 and 7 to 10 okay so see 4 to 6 what they have done how will we do the same way 28 lakhs is the depreciable amount divide that by the useful life 24,000 and then multiply by what multiply by the actual in the actual how much it is it's 2600 so 2600 yeah, multiply by 2600 that's equal to uh, you know 3 lakh 3333 yeah so it's 0 0.33 you just you can just ignore that okay so see 3 lakh 3333 fine so this is the depreciation for fourth year fifth year and sixth year separately each each okay each is that clear yes and then 7 to 10 1800 hours per year so what will you do the same way 28 lakhs depreciable amount divide by useful life 24,000 this is the depreciation per machine hour into into what actual hours that is 1800 
सो दैट्स इक्वल टू टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड या एक्चुअल आवर्स वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड ना डेप्रिशियबल अमाउंट डिवाइड बाई यूजफुल लाइफ इन टू एक्चुअल सो दैट्स टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड यू कैन सी या टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड सो टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड फॉर सेवेंथ एट्थ नाइन्थ टेंथ ईच ओके सेपरेटली इज दैट क्लियर सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू डू इट्स रियली सिंपल एंड स्ट्रेट फॉर्वर्ड फाइन ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इज रियली सिंपल एंड स्ट्रेट फॉर्वर्ड सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो राइट See you in the next video. Bye.